everyone. How's it going? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Block Theater. And yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, about Queeby again. We are officially one week into its release. I did do a video talking about my thoughts on it. I have been spending a lot of time with it, watching a lot of the clips. And that's kind of how I view it. I mean, they're like short episodes, but they kind of feel like clips. And it's, it's still fun. But there are a lot of problems with the service that a lot of the fans have actually been coming out with and, and very much... Uh, criticizing the online or the mobile only application. Now, obviously, it, it makes sense to want to have it be mobile only if you're trying to combat against piracy. Right now, it's piracy proof. It's absolutely piracy proof without pointing a camera directly at your phone and recording it. That is right now where things are at. I've had people try to argue that point with me. They like that that say like I'm making clickbait by trying to say that it's piracy proof. When, no, it's piracy proof. There's a reason why it's been a week and there's been none of the episodes leaked online yet because it's piracy proof. Holy crap, guys, like pay attention. Uh, that being said, it's it's got its problems. You can't take a screenshot. Um, there's, there's no real way to kind of like interact with it in a way that I think is going to be good for building a community. There is a small community that's building on Reddit right now of people that are watching it and that are enjoying it. And in the first 24 hours, they had 350,000 downloads, which was actually attacked by the media for not being anywhere near as monumental as the launch of Disney Plus, which I felt was absolutely unfair, considering the fact that when you look at the idea of what they were going for here when you when you look at Queeby versus Disney Disney had the build up it's the Disney library on streaming for the first time almost as much of it there as they wanted to put it's a totally different experience but the media uh clearly has it out for Queeby because they're trying to play up the Jeffrey Katzenberg uh versus Walt Disney Company beef and uh they want to they want to back they want to back the Titan versus the new guy so to speak even though Katzenberg is in no way a quote unquote new guy, but you guys get the point I'm trying to make. However, uh, we have had a little bit of movement on the front of getting these shows on TV, which is, again, the biggest, biggest, biggest complaint. So according to Meg Whitman, who is the CEO of Quibi, she does say here that it did reach uh, 1.7 million downloads in its first week, which is not bad. That's not bad. 1.7 million downloads. You know, I'm mean, sure that 90 day free trial is definitely going to be pretty good. But uh, you can also see that a lot of people are, are checking this thing out now. So she says here that new mobile streaming service Quibi saw 1.7 million downloads in its first week, according to Meg Whitten, the CEO. Uh, she said or this, they say here that the service launched last Monday in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, calling into question whether consumers would adopt the mobile streaming platform while cooped up in their home with full screen TVs, which is something I criticize it for. I'm like, look, we're in the middle of this global pandemic. Nobody could call it. Nobody knew it was going to happen. Quibi was already announced, already had a release date at that time. They were expecting it to tackle the, the people on the commute to work and things like that. And this is one of those things that they could not ultimately plan for. But, you know, still 1.7 million downloads in the first week. I don't know if it's below projections or above projections or at projections, but still, that's not too shabby given where we find ourselves. Uh, now, it says here, it turns out people have in-between moments at home, Whitman said. We don't think it actually hurts us. Now, those in-between moments, you have to love with the, you have to love the PR speak on that one. What are, what are the in-between moments? Well, I talked about this in one of my videos on it the other day. It's like I was taking a crap and I was watching it on my phone while I was taking a crap. That's an in-between moment. Sure, Meg Whitman doesn't want to come out and say that people are going to watch this while taking a crap, but, uh, you know, like, but they do say here, like, uh, you know, it, that it was originally envisioned as an app users would uh, pull up while, uh, you know, watch something while out and about, uh, while, like, waiting in line or commuting, um, you know, getting coffee or things like that. Yeah, like taking a crap, right? Take, taking a crap on your, uh, taking, you know, 15-minute break at work. Or you're like, man, I really got to really go to the bathroom after having that morning coffee. Let me go catch up on Flipped while I'm dropping a deuce. You know, I mean, that's I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's happening uh, now. But Whitman said the first week's download surpassed expectations while signups uh, are still within a 90 day free trial period. An early sign of engagement. Whitman said that 80 percent of the people who have started to uh, started a show watch it through the first episode. Most of the episodes are six to eight minutes, so they're pretty short. It doesn't it's not that big of a deal. It's it's, it's a very low investment. They're not like Tiger King. Eight, you know, seven episodes of 45 minutes. It's it's not that kind of investment. Uh, now, it does go on to say here that, again, you have to love this. Again, they have to bring it up. This is CNBC. They have to make the comparison, the unfair comparison to Disney+. Plus. 
saying that the adoption is small relative to launches like Disney Plus, which uh, said that it got 10 million subscribers in the first day. Unlike Disney, Quibi's brand is new and relatively unknown, meaning it relied on advertising and celebrities in its shows to make a name for itself, which is, yeah, it's very true. But to compare it to Disney Plus again, I find to be woefully, insanely, over-the-top disingenuous. But at least they do, a, you know, they follow it up with a, with a sentence of trying to at least act like they're impartial, which is, you know, whatever. It's a load of crap. Uh, now it says here, with so many potential customers for Quibi working from home and stay-at-home orders uh, sweep the U.S., while Whitman said the company is accelerating its plan to enable the app to cast the TVs, while the feature wasn't planned to be part of the launch, Whitman said that it was always in the cards for later on. That's They should have they should have led with that. To be honest with you, they should have 100% led with that. They should have said, look, right now it's mobile only, uh, but it's going to be coming to TV down the road. Because a lot of people, when I've been talking about this, as one of, I think, the few YouTubers actually talking about Quibi, I flat out said, I'm like, the fact that this cannot go to the TV is an issue. People have left comments saying because they can't stream to their TV, they don't want to, they don't want to see it. They think it looks fun. They want to check it out. They'll do the 90-day free trial. But if they can't put it on their television, then they don't feel the need to engage. And that is something I totally, totally get. So it's something they need to work on. Um, you know, so uh, there we go. I mean, that's what they're working on right now, I would say, is probably going to be for, uh, I mean, who effing knows when it's going to be a thing, when it's going to be a reality. But at least it's on the horizon, right? It's coming on the horizon. Hopefully before the 90 days is up. If you want my honest opinion, it probably won't happen before the 90 days is up or right at the end of around that first 90 days. But if everyone gets that free 90 day trial, then of course that does extend. But I would say probably they're going to do it here pretty soon. They need to really work. Quibi really needs to work on its uh, on its messaging in regards to its schedule. Um, I follow their Twitter. Their Twitter put out saying, oh, it's Monday. New episodes are coming. But they say new episodes are coming every day. But there was no new episodes on Saturday or Sunday. So it's not like a it's it's not like a real everyday sort of thing. It's like watching the daily show. And the daily show is on weeknights at eleven PM, you know, but then you realize that weeknights equals Monday through Thursday and not Friday, which is still considered a weeknight. Uh so it's a little bit iffy on the the marketing, so to speak, is a little bit iffy on the language, but they'll figure it out. And in the meantime, I'm definitely here for it. Uh, I, lo I love Flipped. It's really funny. I need to I need to finish checking out uh, Survive and The Most Dangerous Games and, of course, give reviews for those, for those of you guys who want to know more. Uh, but in the meantime, if you've actually, if this information of Quibi going to TV screens is going to get your interest up, let me know. I want to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you guys all later. Have yourself a great day. Thank you again for watching and peace out.